So uh, there are some things you're not allowed to pray. Uh, God teaches us to pray so that we don't mess it up. Uh, he teaches us to pray, lead us not into temptation. And well, God leads no one into temptation. God tempts no one, but we pray in this petition that God would uh, guard and keep us so that the devil, the world, and our own sinful flesh would not deceive us or mislead us into false belief, despair, and other great shame and vice. Although we are attacked by these things, we pray that we may finally overcome them and win the victory. You are not allowed to pray as if you are somehow above the fray. It's not allowed. You're not allowed to pray as if you as a Christian are somehow exempt from the sins of the world, exempt from the burdens of the world, exempt from the temptations of the world, exempt from the devil. You are not allowed to pray as if you are above the fray, but you're also not allowed to pray as if God is either. God dives into the fray because we will be tempted and we will fall into temptation, uh, but God dives into the fray to bear our temptation, not only to, to sort of show us how it's done, but to, to fulfill the law where we have failed to bleed, to die and to forgive us all the places we didn't so that the devil wouldn't lean on those temptations to lead us into false belief, despair, another great shame, and vice. We are attacked by these things, but we overcome them. We win the victory by clinging to Jesus, who dives down into the mess too. You're not allowed to pray as if you're above the fray, because when you start to think that great is the fall, great is the fall of the Christian who thinks they can't fall into sin, Great is the fall of the Christian who, who is not worried uh, about the attacks of the evil one, who, who thinks that the things of the world cause no harm. But great is the hope of the Christian who recognizes that Jesus bears them for us. You're not allowed to pray as if these things can't hurt you, but you're, you're not allowed to pray as if God doesn't save you from them either. And so we pray, lead us not into temptation because this world is altogether too full of it. I find it altogether too well on my own. So I need to find God rescuing me from it. Lead me back out. Save me.